Good morning and welcome to this lesson. I hope you are keeping safe and I hope that uh, everything is fine. Uh, today we are going to learn about a topic called trigonometry. Trigonometry is a, a branch of mathematics that deals with the triangles and uh, how the angles and the sides of the triangles are related. Actually, trigonometry is a, is, a, is, a, is a Greek word, or it has been derived from uh, two Greek words, one of them meaning triangle, this part here, trigonon, meaning triangle, and then uh, this met metre from metron, meaning measurement. So we are actually dealing with the measurements of triangles, trigonometry measurements of triangles and uh, you know that when you are talking about measurement of triangles we are talking about angles and the sides these are the only things you can measure from a triangle nothing else so we will deal with the, the angles and the sides of a triangle and the way they relate this topic is divided into three uh as per the 844 syllabus uh, we have uh, part one part two and part three Part 1 is taught in Form 2, uh, Part 2 is taught in Form 3, and Part 3 is taught in Form 4. So for now, we are going to deal with Part 1 at your level. And this Part 1 deals with right angle triangles. Right angle triangles. Uh, so we will not talk about any other triangle in this section. It will just be right angle triangles and the way the angles in a right angle triangle relate with the sides. Now, because one of the angles is 90 degrees, we will not concentrate with this angle so much, which is 90 degrees, but we will concentrate about or we will concentrate on the other angles which are remaining, these two angles. And you know that if this angle is going to be 90, the other two will be less than 90. That means they will be acute angles. So in this topic, you will see how the acute angles of a triangle, of a right angle triangle, relate to the sides of that triangle. So assuming we have this triangle here, A, B, C, and uh, this angle here is angle alpha, this angle here is angle theta. We, we, we commonly use the Greek letters uh, for the angles in this case. So we will be looking at how the sides relate to this angle. This side here will be side B. This side here will be side A. The side is normally labeled on the opposite side of the angle. So if this is angle B, angle is labeled uh, per the capital letter, or using the capital letter, then the opposite side will be side B. If this is side A, this will be. If this is side A, this is angle A, meaning if this is angle C here, this will be side C. So, in this triangle, we normally relate the side with the angle. We relate them. So, for example, if we take this angle here, angle theta, and we relate angle theta to the sides. Now, as per this angle, or in relation to this angle theta, this side B will be opposite. We call it opposite. Or we say, it is on the opposite side of the angle. So side B here, which is side AC, is on the opposite side of angle theta. When we come to alpha, angle alpha, this side will change. It will not be opposite. Because you can see, the side uh, B in relation to angle alpha will not be opposite. But let's first of all talk about angle theta. So in relation to angle theta, this side here, which is side C, is along that angle, so we normally say it is adjacent. Adjacent. It is next to the angle. But side B is opposite. Then side, uh, the longer side, side A, is always known as the hypotenuse. You know that from your triangles, your knowledge on triangles. So there we are. We have talked about it in relation to this angle here, angle theta. 
So if this triangle was to change, if it was to change, and I draw another one, I want to draw the same triangle, but again, this is this, sorry, this is A, this is B, just using this other angle here, angle alpha. So, at, as per this angle, or in, in relation to this angle alpha, this side now will be opposite, because it is on the opposite side. And the side AC will now be adjacent. But the hypotenuse does not change, no matter which angle you are using or you are looking at. So that's how we relate the sides. So you can first of all look at the names. You have to know the names. And the names relate to the angle. And the sides opposite and adjacent are not fixed. They will change depending on which angle you are looking at. But the hypotenuse will change. Just like this set square that I have here, it is right angle. So these two angles will determine which side is adjacent and which side is hypotenuse. If I'm looking at this angle here, this side will be adjacent as per this angle. And this other side will be hypotenuse. The same case, if I change the angle, sorry, this will be, this is going to be opposite. Hypotenuse does not change. If I change the angle here, then this side, which was my adjacent, now changes to opposite. And the one which was my opposite now changes to adjacent. So the names of the two are changing depending on which angle you are looking at. So the hypotenuse is the only permanent side that we are looking at. Now, we will be talking about uh, the way the, 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 the sides relate with the angles. And very importantly, is something we call trigonometric ratios. At your level, we will deal with three trigonometric ratios. We will deal with tangent. We will deal with sine. And we will deal with cosine. Those are the three trigonometric ratios we are going to talk about. Why are they called ratios? Actually, they are just the ratios of the sides, the way the, 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 the triangle is related here. For example, tangent is the ratio of opposite over adjacent. So if you take the ratio of opposite over adjacent, that ratio is known as tangent. For whichever angle. So if I was to look at tan theta here, it is going to be given by opposite over adjacent, which is side B over side C. So if you are given the measurements, you will be able to get the tangent of that. So it's a ratio of the sides. Sine is given by the ratio of opposite over hypotenuse. And Cosine is given by the ratio of adjacent over hypotenuse. That is why they are known as trigonometric ratios. Because they are relating the angle with the sides. And the angle is given as a ratio of the sides. So when you get the side which is opposite divided by the side which is adjacent, as that ratio is known as tangent. When you get the ratio of opposite and uh, of hypotenuse, that ratio is known as sine. So we don't use the full words. So you will find that instead of tangent, we are going to write the word tan. Instead of sine, we are going to write sin or sin. Then instead of the whole word cosine, we are going to write cos. So it's good that you, you remember those uh, are ratios, and they are known as ratios, just as they are. And you find that they might be either more than one or less than one, depending on what you are dealing with. We will be looking at that in a short while, but in another lesson.
Now, that is a bit of introduction that I want you to, 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 to get and be conversant with. And before we end this lesson, I want us first of all to look at a very important part of angles, how you can change degrees uh, to minutes. Don't confuse the minutes uh, of time with the minutes of angles. The symbol for minutes of angles is an apostrophe. So if I have, for example, 45 degrees, 42 minutes, and you're asked to write uh, that in degrees, full degrees, what I want you to remember or to know is that 60 minutes equals 1 degree. This is the only thing you need to know here. 60 minutes is equals to 1 degree. So the only part I need to change is this one which is in minutes. Because 45 is already in degrees. So I just need to change this. And to change it, I say 60 minutes is equals to 1 degree. What about 42 minutes? It will be how many degrees? You cross multiply and you're going to realize it will be 42 over 60. 42 over 60. When you divide that, you will get 0 0.7. So this, these are degrees now. You add them here on the original. So your answer becomes 45.7 degrees. Now the whole of it is in degrees. Initially, it was in degrees and minutes. We can change one more, then I give you an assignment. Uh, you can change 39 degrees uh, and 49 minutes. Change that. You realize by now you can even use a shortcut. The only part you will change is this. Just divide this by 60 and see what you get. Whatever you get will be 39 point whatever you get here. You realize that you, you're going to get a recurring decimal or a long decimal, which may not have an end. So you just use two decimal places, such that you have a number which is in four significant figures for this case. So that's how you do it. You can now be able to change minutes to degrees and degrees to minutes. The only relationship you need is 60 minutes is equal to one degree. So I'll give you more assignment on this. And uh, we will do more on trigonometry, having known that trigonometry is the branch of mathematics that relates the angles and the sides of a triangle. And in our case, we are dealing with a right angled triangle. So welcome to this topic. It will be as simple as that. And I hope it will be a journey that we can work together. Thank you. That is the end of today's lesson. I will be giving you an assignment in the other forum.